In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to configure Scheduler Reports as a Kibana plugin. The plugin files can be downloaded from the Scheduler website by clicking on Resources, then choosing Documentation. The Kibana plugin link is here on the left side, and because this example will show Linux installation, I'll select and copy this link. Now I'll open the command prompt and open the folder where Kibana is installed. Then I'll paste in the link I copied from the Scheduler website. With this command, I can see that the files necessary for plugins are available in the folder. As long as Elasticsearch and Kibana have already been launched, I can now launch Kibana as well. I'll enter this command to launch Kibana. Now that Kibana is launched, I'll open my browser and go to the URL that loads my Kibana homepage. I'll click this icon at the bottom left to expand the menu, then click Scheduler Reports. Now I'm in my Scheduler Reports homepage and I'll create a new report. I'll assign a report name and keep ELK as the data source. The report type will be Dashboard and I'll choose the dashboard I want. I have the option to select a filter, but I'll leave this as No Filter. For time range, I'll use the Dashboard Time Window, but if I uncheck this, I could configure my own time window. I can also add a tag to classify the report. And finally, there is an optional advanced option to specify the report output directory. If I don't specify anything, the default directory will be used. To proceed to the report design step, I'll click the link at the top. I could change the report title if needed, and I'll choose PDF as the file format to generate. I can also include an Excel report by checking this box. For template, I'll keep the default, which uses Smart Layout but I could click Custom Layout if I wanted to choose a different layout. Clicking Download Template opens a list of templates I can choose from. I'll proceed to the Schedule step. I can schedule reports to be sent on an hourly basis, or monthly, yearly, etc. The last step is Distribute. From the drop-down, I'll select Mail Channel. Here I can enter an email recipient, add a CC or BCC if needed, and I can keep the default message or edit it. The report setup is complete, so I'll click Save and Exit. My report now appears in the dashboard. I can click this download link to receive and open the report PDF.